Hi, this is Sweet June coming at you with another video topic. I did a video about a week or two ago on, um, was talking about um, Minister Jap um, smashing single mothers. Um, and I want to expand further on that. I want to expand a little bit further on that. Um, I noticed that um, it's not just him. First of all, it's not just him. And um, I noticed that there's a lot of black men here on YouTube that's um, bashing single mothers. I, I noticed that it's it's pretty uh, common on here on YouTube. It's getting pretty bad. I think it's getting worse. It's getting pretty bad. And that's why I wanted to... Uh, talk about um, it's getting pretty bad um, first of all single mothers first of all single mothers um, it, it, there's different reasons why women are single mothers um, um, no one person's situation is unique. Every single mother has a story as to why she became a single mother. There is various dis different reasons why women, some women, had, they got married and things didn't work out. They had their children within the context of marriage. Things didn't work out, then they got a divorce. And then they became a single mother as a result of a, divor of, of a divorce. Um, some women were married and had the kids and the father of the children passed away for whatever reason. So they became a single mother as a result of the, the father, their husband passed it away. Or if they didn't marry the man, they was maybe in a relationship with the man, um, with, with the father and he, she had a child and he passed away. So that they were a single mother as a result of that. Some women are single mothers as a result of, you know, um, they didn't they didn't marry the father, but they made it might have been in a relationship with the father. Uh, maybe they were going to get married and things didn't work out. Um, or um, for some reason, um, you know, this, the relationship just didn't work out. You know, it didn't pan out. Um, you know, she might have thought it was going to be a sure thing and they were going to get married, but, you know, relationships sometimes don't work out. Sometimes, you know, uh, the man um, decides that he wants to move on, you know, and be with somebody else. Or even in some cases, the woman might decide um, for, for whatever reason, the relationship didn't work out. And so she winded up not staying with the father of the child and she, that she winds up being a single person parent. Now, sometimes that happens more than once, you know, sometimes she gets into another relationship, you know, she might think that's a sure thing and um, gets pregnant. And then for some reason it doesn't work out. Okay. Um, my point is there, every situation, everybody got a story. Every single mother got a story. Um, there's various dis different reasons why women are single parents. Um, you know, it, it could be as a result, some women might have um, were single and they didn't have any kids. So they decided to, there are, there are women out there that decide to adopt a child, believe it or not. There are women that decide to foster kids. There's a black lady here on YouTube. She, she decided to, I don't think she had any children of her own beforehand. She decided to adopt two white kids. She was she was doing foster care. I actually subscribed to her channel not long ago. Very interesting, very interesting situation. Um, she actually done a video and she titled it, "Why did I adopt these white kids?" <laughs> she literally has two white kids. It really, it really, um, it's really interesting watching her videos because. You don't really, that's not something you see every day. You see black women with biracial children, but you don't see them with white kids. These are actual white kids. They're not biracial. Uh, so I think one of them is mixed with Indian or something, but they're predominantly white. Um, 
and she actually just does a video talking about how she came to adopt these two white children. She was apparently was into foster care, was doing foster care, and she winded up fostering these two children. And she adopted one of the children, it was a boy and a girl. And I don't remember which one. I think she adopted the girl first or something like that. And then, um, um, because you know the I guess the mother lost the rights to the child, so she wanted to adopt adopting the first child. And then the she and then the mother that same mother had another child, and um, lost the rights to that child. So they they asked her if she wanted to go ahead and adopt that child as well, as so to keep the siblings together because they're brother and sister. So. She she said she just couldn't turn it down because she wanted she didn't she didn't want them to grow up apart. She wanted them that they were siblings, so she wanted them to grow up together. She didn't want the other child to be stuck in the system, so she went on ahead and, and adopted the brother. You know, so that's how she winded up with. But at first she fostered them first, but then she went on to adopt them because she didn't want um, them to be separated and she didn't want the the brother to be stuck in the in the foster care system. So she, it was really a loving um, provision that it was really loving, a loving thing for her to do that. So, but check her out. I forget what the name of her channel is, but if I find it, I'll put it in the description box. But it's really, it's really interesting, you know. Um, and so in her case, and she didn't have any biological children of her own. She, this is a black lady, a black woman. She didn't have any biological children of her own, but she decided because she was in, doing foster care, she decided to adopt, to adopt out of the out of the loving kindness of her heart. She decided to adopt these two white children. Okay, so she's a single mother for that reason. So, and even you, you have other black women that might have done the same thing. You know, they were, were fostering children and they decided to adopt children. And they became a single parent. Um, if I decided to go into foster care and adopt a child that I took, I, I, I took care of, I'm taking care of a child, and I decided to adopt that child, I wouldn't want nobody judging me and saying, okay, well, she got three, she had three kids. Uh, and she ain't never been married or whatever. And here I didn't took on a foster child, you know. So it's 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 judgment is a horrible thing. God hates it when we judge people. He he tells us not to judge, and it, it's it's terrible to judge people because every single mother's situation is unique, regardless of 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 uh, uh, race. Every sing, single mother has a story. And there's a father behind every behind every woman that has children. That's a single parent. There's a man. There's a man because we can't have babies by ourselves. There's a father. And and um and so I just have a, it's, it's, it, I just have an issue with these guys. You know, they coming on YouTube and they're acting like single mothers are the most horrible people in the world that that because in, in like i said there's different situations as to why women are single mothers and and then they're encouraging and telling other men to not date single mothers and, they, and they're acting like single mothers are these terrible people and that is and that is that can't be further from the truth where there might be some single mothers that do terrible things but but it's not right to put all single mothers in that box. It is particularly being targeted. This is particularly being targeted towards black women, black single mothers. They're, they're mainly targeting black single mothers. And Minister Jap is not the only one on here. There's other black men on here that I know there's a black man that comes on my channel. And he's starting to get on my nerve. He 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 goes out of his way to to uh, say that he doesn't want to date single mothers. It was a video I did um, telling black men that if they didn't want, um, or men in general, if, if you don't want to date a single mother, then don't have nothing to do with a single mother. Don't, 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 uh, don't date them. Don't date them. If you don't want nothing to do with a single mother, then don't date them. Don't have sex, sexual relationship, a sexual relationship with them. Don't have anything to do with them. 
Just leave them alone. If you don't want anything to do with them, just leave them alone. And I did a video uh, talking about that. Here he come on that video, commenting on that video and stuff. And then I did another video about uh, talking about single mothers. And it wasn't nobody even talking to him. And he come on that video and... <laughs> And um, and then he came on another video of mine, and and and, and um, like, I, I I my thought is uh, if this man typed all this on his phone, his fingers has got to be awful tired. He did a whole, I mean, uh, uh, and probably I didn't even read the whole thing. I read most majority of it, but he did a long list. He put a long a whole long list in my comic section, nothing but stats, quoting stats about children that grow up in single parent hot homes. They're most likely to this and that and the other. And, and I mean, he did a whole long line of stats, of these supposed statistics. And if he had any sense, he would know statistics, you know, stats could be manipulated. They can be manipulated either way, you know, because statistics is not, a, I took a statistics class, it's not an exact science, uh, you could be off and still be right, those numbers can be, can be manipulated either way, okay, so we don't, I, I know I quote statistics sometimes on my channel, but we really shouldn't put a whole lot of stock into them. And some stats have to be broken down, like that I talked about in my other video, that 70% Head of household stat that they put on black women. I, I talked about that in another video that that stat has to be broken down because what they're doing is they're taking uh, black women that have no children. They're putting them in, they're putting those black women in that same stat. They're putting all black women that, that um, including single black women that have never had children. They're, they're throwing all black women into that stat and they're not breaking it down so when people look at that stat they say okay there's a 70 percent of a la wedlock rate with black women they're head of households everybody they're assuming you know black men like to take that stat and run with it you know the black men that like to bash black women they love to take that stat and run with it but what they don't realize is that stat needs to be broken down because they're throwing all like they might be throwing in a uh, elderly black women that's you know that's living by herself. See, and, and, and when they what happens is around census time they come around and they take these, these these census you know on your household and they threaten you and they say if you don't fill it out then you're gonna be fine or whatever. So they they put you in a position to where you have to do the the doggone thing, and they what they have and then that's how they compile those stats. You know, they get demographics off, off of everybody's household. They find out how many people in your household. If you're the head, if a black woman's the head of household, a black man, if there's, if, the, if there's a married couple in there, how many kids? And see, they, they find out the dynamics the, uh, of your dynamics of your household, and they compile, that's how they compile those stats. But they're throwing all uh, um, they're taking black women from different walks of life and they're throwing us all in the same stat with what they really should be doing if you really want to know how many single black single mothers are the head of household then that needs to be a whole different stat that that needs to be compiled in a whole different stat because their that that their situation is obviously different than a black woman that don't have no kids at all She's yes, yeah, she is a head of household, but she has no children. So that's a that's a totally different. See, that's a totally different stat. It's a completely different stat. It, but they what they do is they throw all that, and then and then they then they don't count. They they don't. Uh, uh, it, 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 she may be have she might have a boyfriend living there or something, but she's not married. But because. She, she, this is her place. This, it might be her house, but she may have a boyfriend living there. So they still consider her head of the household because she's not married. 
So see, there's different situations there. It may be an elderly black woman that's living by herself. They throw her in that stat too. So when what happens is black men see that stat, that the black men that like to bash black women, they see that stat, they take it and run with it. 70% of black women out, out, of, out of how to wedlock. No, that might, that might not be right because they're throwing all black women in the same stat. That stat needs to be broken down. I, I said that, I talked about that in another video. So stats can be manipulated, you know, either way. You don't put 100% of stock into to them, you know. So this guy post all this all these stats uh talking about children that are raised in single parent homes they're it, it's st statistically they're more likely to uh uh they, they don't do as well in school and I've, I've quoted some of those stats myself i mean well i i didn't quote the stat but i but i, I mentioned that stat but it's it's he he, he did a whole list he put a whole list. The list was so doggone long, I didn't read the whole thing. You know, I, I got halfway through it, and I was like, oh, this is interesting. And I think when I commented on it, I said, oh, this is interesting. He got mad at me because I said this was interesting. Well, why, why are you in my comment section, man? If you got... My, my, you know, this is my thought with this guy. If you got such a big problem with single mothers... Why is you in my comic section, man? I'm a single mother. Okay, if you got such a big problem with single mothers, why is you... And then he, he goes out... I think something ain't right upstairs. Because he'll go out of his way and he'll come on random videos and say, I, that's why I don't date single mothers. I say, okay, well, if you don't date a single mother, then fine, leave him alone then. You know, I, I don't know. He feels the need to keep overemphasizing that. You know... It's like, man, I don't, ain't nobody even, I, I, I don't care about you not dating single mothers. Was that supposed to hurt my feelings? It's like, if you don't deal with single mothers, then why is you in my comic section, man? <laughs> hey, why is he even in my comic section? Why you keep bothering me, man? If, if you don't deal with single mothers, well, you dealing with me coming in my comic section. You know, quoting all these stats and stuff. And then he took the time that this had to be time consuming for him to put this long. I said, like, my thought was if he typed this with his phone, them fingers got to be really tired. <laughs> I mean, that list was so doggone long. It, it didn't even make no sense. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys. <laughs> So I'm like, he talking about, he, he, he's so busy talking about how I don't deal with single mothers. Well, were you dealing with me coming in my comment section, harassing me every chance you get? What's your point? That's supposed to hurt my feelings? I read his comments and go on about my business. So he's, he's more annoying than anything. He's starting to annoy me. But... <laughs> Because he goes out of his way. And then he came on the one video. And I'm like, wait, well, ain't, ain't nobody. I said, well, nobody even talking to you in that video. It's like, what is your point? <laughs> I wasn't even directing that towards men. You know, I don't know. He got issues. It's, it's, a, lot, it's, it's a lot of guys out here that just got issues. They need they need help. They need therapy. You know, it's like they they they... They, they've been damaged, you know. Um, they need therapy. I mean, whoever hurt you or if you grew up with a toxic mom or whatever, get yourself some help. Please, seek therapy. Anyway, I, I know I'm getting off the subject, but I, I, I just want to say that it's, it's, the, it's, it's, it's really brutal and it's really harsh of all the, the criticism of single mothers. It's really it's really brutal. It's really harsh. It's not a loving thing for them to do. It's not okay for them to encourage other men. Because first of all, if, if, if my thought is this, if you got kids, and a lot of these men that be talking that stuff, a lot of these black men that be talking that stuff, uh, how they don't want to date single mothers. I think I did a video. Uh, I, I, it's titled, These Men Got Their Nerve, you know? Because they do got their nerve. A lot of these men got kids they sell. And they got kids by more than one woman. 
and they have the audacity to, to set that standard to say, I don't want to date single mothers. So it's okay for a single mother. What makes, what makes you think that a woman without kids wants to date you? A woman without children may not want to date you and you got two and three baby mama. What makes you think she wants to deal with that? So, I mean, men that have children, they, you know, it's like, you don't have a, you don't have the right to say you don't want to date single mothers because you're a single father. It was okay for you to be a single father. You know, what makes you think a woman that don't have kids wants to date you? She may not want to date you. Okay. I don't blame her. I dated, and I thought about that. I said, I dated my son's father when I got with him, my, my older son's dad. When I got with him, I didn't have no kids. I didn't have any children when I got with him, but he had, he had two baby mamas, possibly three. He had two baby mamas, but possibly three. Well, he did have three baby mamas. There wasn't no possibly to it. He did have three baby mamas. When I when I dated him, he had three baby mamas. And I didn't have any kids. But I still dated him. You know? But I could have said, I could have said, no, I don't want to date you because you got kids. I don't want a man with kids. You know? Well, maybe if I had any sense, I might, you know, should have said that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not bashing my my, my son's father because I'm not I'm not trying to bash him or anything. But <laughs> but that's the point, you know. I didn't have any when I was dating my son's father. I I didn't I didn't have any children until he got I I got pregnant with my son. <laughs> okay, go figure. So these guys got a lot of nerves. These guys. I mean, I was open open minded enough to to accept that, you know. So. These guys got a lot of nerves. They they expect to. They 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 want to set that standard, you know. Why why are you asking for something that you know? Don't ask for something that you're you you're not. You're you're not a, a single man without kids. So why would you want to ask for a a, a a a woman that doesn't have kids? You know what I'm saying? You should be opening up your your dating options to women that have children as well. If you got two kids, then you know, you know, how can you set that? How can you how can you how can you make that demand if you got kids? Especially if you got more than one baby mama. Okay, you want to you want to be given a chance. So why why are you why are you putting that on a woman? You know? All single mothers are not bad. There's a lot of single mothers that are good women. They're good women. And we all deserve love. It, 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 just because a woman is a single mother does not mean that she's not deserving of love. And there's lots of different reasons why women are single mothers. So it is not okay for men to come on here bashing single mothers, particularly black single mothers. It is not okay because it's a lot of us that, that uh, and, this be, and this because, and that's another point, just because a, a woman doesn't have any kids doesn't mean that she's a good woman. Don't automatically assume because the woman don't have kids because you don't know she could have had some abortions. I, there's women out there that don't have kids, but they didn't have some abortions. Is that okay with you? It's okay for you to date a woman that has abortions? Only thing that, that that says is that she got pregnant, but she didn't want to take on the responsibility. She didn't want to woman up and, 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 and take responsibility for her action. So because she didn't want to take responsibility, woman up and take responsibility, she decided to kill an innocent child. Okay, I'm not judging, but I'm just saying. Because that's not a responsible thing to do. Having abortions is not responsible. It's especially some people have used them as a form of birth control. Well, abortions is not birth control. You, you, you're killing an innocent child's life. It's a life at a time of conception. Okay? So that's not, if you're thinking that a single woman that doesn't have any kids, but she had an abortion, if you think that she did the responsible thing, 
no, that's irresponsible. And on top of that, she's a murderer. Okay? Plain and simple. At least if a woman that had the kids, if you encounter a woman that had children and never married, at least she was woman enough to, at least she had the decency to bring that child into the world. She didn't kill that child. And she was woman enough to take responsibility and own up, take responsibility and own up to that. And she was woman enough to take on that responsibility. Let that marinate. And she didn't try to take the easy way out by having an abortion. Because some of these black men, they go back and forth. They don't, instead of them picking a side, they'll bash black women for being single mothers, but then they'll turn around and bash black women for having abortions. I'm like, okay, you either against abortion? Or I'm confused. Are you, you, are you against abortion or are you for it? Because they'll bash women, black women for having children. And they'll say, well, if the father don't want to be bothered, then you need to get an abortion. But then they'll turn around and, and bash women for having a black women for having abortions. That doesn't make any sense. You either you either against abortion or you for it. Which one? You know, it's like they so screwed up in the head. They don't know which way is up. Sometimes they just sometimes I think they're just talking out the side of their neck. You know, I don't know, but I, I just think it's, it's it's unfair. It's unfair to put all single mothers in one box. If there's, yes, there are single mothers out there that are doing bad things, creating, there, some single mothers are toxic. I, I admit that. But there's a lot of us out here that are good. We're good women. Uh, and we don't deserve that. We don't deserve that. We don't deserve it. We don't, des we don't deserve for you guys to come on here and publicly bash us. Because there is a lot of single mothers that have gotten, contrary to what you believe, there is a lot of single mothers out there that did get married and they, they and they turned out to uh, be a, a, a good wife. My sister was a single mom before she got married. My sister, my sister had my niece and uh, she met my brother-in-law and then she had my other niece. Okay? And, and my nephew. Okay? She had two kids by... Uh, my brother-in-law and she they've been married for over 20 years and she was a single mom when he hooked up. Well, he didn't care because he still loved my sister regardless he didn't care and, and he looks at my niece as his daughter he sees his he he loves her like you know and, and like his his own biological daughter it's, it's a beautiful thing so sometimes it can be a beautiful thing and then you get a into a situation to where if the man has has kids and then the, the woman has kids, and it's like a Brady Bunch type situation. You know, it you know, you bring your both both of you bring your kids, you know, together, and you, it makes a nice little blended family. There's lots of single mothers that have gotten married. And it and and, and they the, the marriage has turned out to be really successful. So don't throw, don't do that to single mothers. Don't throw single mothers away. Because it's a lot of us that are really good women and would make very good wives. Hello. How you doing? So that's all I wanted to say. I was just noticing that there's more black men on here bashing black single, particularly black single mothers. And that is not okay. It is not a loving thing to do. Okay. And, and, and it's a lot of us that are very, very good women, contrary to what y'all may believe. Okay, hit me up in the comment section. That that guy with M MG, whatever he calls himself. Don't you come on this comic section. You get off of my comment section. I might have to block you because you're starting to annoy me. You start to get on my nerves. I might have to block you. <laughs> He's a mess. <laughs> Okay, hit me up in the comment section. Let me let me let me know what you think. Um, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell. I got some more interesting video topics coming up. Peace and love. This is Sweet Juice.